So the other, the other three is healthy emotions, successful risk taker, and protector of loved ones. Again, all of these are important to the birth of the child and making sure the child survives. Protector of loved ones. Anytime I can show that I'm a protector of loved ones, it's an attraction trigger for the girl because it shows I take care of my family. I take care of my family. Taking care of your family, taking care of your social circle. Very big turn on for the girl. Any way you can kind of incorporate that. Maybe it's through storytelling. I'll give you one example. I was out on a date. Um, about a month ago, I was out on a date. Girl I met in Philly. I actually went out to Philly. I was at my boy's house. We went out that night. The next day before I drove home, I picked her up and we went to a, uh, a small little bar that had a pool table in the back. And they had like music and they had like the Eagles game on in the background. And we ordered a hookah and we ordered some wine. So we're in this little back room excluded to ourselves, playing pool, listening to some like R&B on my phone. We got two glasses of wine and we got a hookah. And we got the Eagles game on in the background. It was actually a pretty nice setup for a little date. Uh, and this is a girl I, I pulled two weeks before that and closed. So this was like the follow-up date to that. So we're out at the, we're out at the date. We're chilling. I got that music playing off of my phone. And... My phone keeps getting interrupted because I'm getting messages to my phone. So we were playing pool. I walked over to my phone. She was already over there smoking the hookah. And I have a group chat with my family that says family with like two big heart emojis after the fucking. It says family with two hearts on it. And she saw all of these messages from my family. Now, again, I didn't show it off to her, but. I opened it up. I was like, oh shit, it's actually my family. And I made sure that she saw that it says family with two hearts. And then I showed her how I was interacting with my family and this and that, showing her I'm very close with my loved ones, making sure they're okay. Just checking in at the end of the night, letting them know, have a good night. I hope you got home safe. If there's ever a problem, give me a call. That's one way of conveying that shit. And honestly, I wasn't going out of my way to do it, but I still remember at the end of it, like 15 minutes later, even though the phone was already down, she brought it up again. She was like, you know what? I thought that's like really, um, really attractive is that I, I just like how close you are with your family. That's what she told me. She was like, I love how close and connected you are with your family. Because, and in that moment, I was like, yeah, no shit, bitch. Protector of loved ones. <laughs> but um, I didn't like intentionally show that to her, but it kind of just confirmed the whole thing, you know? Because again, it shows. I. I protect the ones that are close to me. And if the girl already brings it up now and she tells and she verbalizes that she likes it, that's an opportunity for me to push it even more on that topic. Oh, so she's like, Oh yeah, I like how you're like really in contact with your family. Yeah. I mean, look, my sister lives down South and I don't get to see my mom that much. So to me, fam honestly, like I do have a lot of close friends and I am super close with them. However, at the end of the day, like you can't interfere with the family. You know, and, and I really mean that. And even though my sister moved away, I do my best to make sure that we're still in contact a lot, even if that means me initiating a FaceTime every so often, just to make sure that, you know, we're still all on the same page, you know, because I, I don't like just contacting them on the holidays like that. If you're my family, I have an unconditional love for you and I'm going to make sure you're okay. Guys, that is a turn on to a woman. That is a turn on to a, to a woman. And it's not me flirting with her, telling her, oh, wow, push, like saying a push pull or what's the line that you say to get the girl attracted? This is a great way to fucking uh, get the girl attracted is to show her, protect her of loved ones, healthy emotions. Healthy emotions you can't really convey through a story. I guess you can, but that's just another, it's just another attraction trigger to show that like if shit's going down, Oh, actually, I have, another, uh, uh, I have another story about that one. Healthy emotions. I used to work at this restaurant. And while I was working at the restaurant, my coworker slit his finger open really bad. Blood fucking gushing out of his hand. His whole hand looked red. And everybody was flipping out, panicking. And literally, I was standing there calm as fuck. I was super calm. And I was just like ready to help him. And it wasn't a big deal. And I was just chill about the whole fucking thing, you know? And the fact that I was like calm and I, we helped him out. We got him, I think I ended up driving him to the hospital that was nearby. He got all his shit taken care of, came back. The next day, they weren't even talking about the guy's fucking hand being cut open. My boss kept bringing up the fact that I wasn't, that I was so calm in the situation. She kept talking about that. I was like, 
And in my mind, I thought they were making fun of me at the time. I literally thought they were making fun of me. But in reality, why did she keep bringing that up? That moment was instilled in her brain. Because what does that portray? It portrays that when shit is going down and everybody's panicking, I'm the dude that's calm, confident, relaxed in the situation, chill. And I'm going to take care, protector of loved ones, healthy emotions, leader of men. I drove him to the hospital. You know, all of these things are very attractive. Okay. I don't want to spend the whole lecture on those things, but you guys need to know that those are attraction triggers and any way you can incorporate those into your life is ultimately going to create more attraction. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and quick announcement, by the way, I just released my brand new 12 week mentorship program. So for anybody that's interested in leveling up and achieving their goals with women and dating, click the link in the description, fill out the application, and we'll be reaching out to you to discuss further details. All right, I'll talk to you soon.